Hey, Jim Creel with Wild Horses here. I uh, want to give you the grand tour of our brand new Clydesdale tie rod and drag link system. This is an extreme duty tie rod and drag link for your 66 to 77 Ford Bronco. We are developing other applications, uh, but right now these are on the shelf ready to ship for 66 to 77 Ford Bronco. Let me give you the tour. Here we go. So first up, we have a real basic, just kind of side-by-side -side comparison uh, between the Clydesdale and some other popular ends. Uh, from right to left, we've got a very commonly used rod end. Uh, next, we've got the 66 to 75 Bronco tie rod end. Next to that is what most people would call the one-ton tie rod end. And then you've got the Clydesdale. Just in terms of massiveness, uh, the Clydesdale really doesn't have any comparison. It's a truly heavy duty uh, tie rod. In. So the first part of the Clydesdale consists of a massive inch and a quarter threaded forged end link. Uh, basically these things are just huge. Give you an idea here up close as someone has said they're even more impressive in person and uh, one question we commonly get is what are those off of well you're not gonna find them at a wrecking yard because these are uh, exclusively aftermarket designed for what we're doing here uh, we worked on it for some time and uh, it's an original product so next let me show you the cartridge so here's one of our tie rod cartridges. As you can see, it's a threaded cartridge. And here's your tapered section here. Now we have these tapered sections for two different pitman arms and three different steering knuckles. So we do need to get some information from you at the time you order. That way we can set up the Clydesdale so it will fit your specific application. But the cartridge threads in to the forged end link. Now one nice thing about this is if and when you do ever wear out the tie rod end you're not replacing the complete end. You're simply replacing a cartridge. Now the other nice thing about this is you can go tie rod over just by flipping the cartridge around threads in from either side and that makes some customization pretty straightforward and simple. Um, that gives you an idea there of how that works. Another unique feature on the tie rod ends themselves is this guy right here. This is our rock lock disc. This thing goes down on here and then we use a foam dust seal. We don't use rubber because we don't want to preload the end. But what that rock lock does is it helps eliminate a lot of that rocking back and forth that's common with the stock ends and the one tons and all of that. Um, that's a real nice feature there. Something else we retained on our cartridge design was the castle nut and cotter pin old school safety feature. So you see we're using castle nuts, drilled ends, and then you stick your cotter pin in there. And just in case, that keeps the, the nut from backing off. When you order your system, there are going to be some questions that we're going to have and some things we're going to know. For example, what are you installing it on? Uh, Dana 30, Dana 44, and then what year? Now the reason for that is all of these knuckles tend to have different tapers in the hole. For example, this is a 76-77 Ford Bronco knuckle. If we sent you that cartridge, it doesn't fit. The 76-77 is about the smallest taper 
And the taper size isn't uh, a big deal, it's just getting you the correct one so that you don't have to fool around sending parts back and forth. Uh, one thing about the 7677 version, if you kind of look at that head on, these are easy to identify. Of course, they got a five bolt spindle, they are a disc brake caliper. But the arm on the knuckle itself, it comes out and then the thing points right over towards the wheel. Now that can be a problem because of the largeness of the ends. And so you do need to check and make sure you have space, especially on a 7677. Um, another common knuckle, this is uh, like a 78, 79 Bronco uh, F150. Again, it's a five volt spindle disc brake knuckle. This particular cartridge was actually designed to go with that. Then you got your earlier Dana 30, Dana 44, Bronco knuckle, and that has a different taper also. So we need to know what you're putting it on. And that goes the same for the Pitman arm. Uh, the early 66 had a small taper. It's actually the same as the 7677. 66 to late, later 66 to 75 used a larger taper, obviously more common. Uh, so we just we want to know what you're hooking it up to so we can set the system up specifically for you. Another thing we're going to ask you is whether your steering box is mounted on the inside or outside of the frame. Now that may seem like a strange question at first, seeing that all 66 to 77 Broncos, originally the steering box was mounted to the outside of the frame. But back in the day, we and others did so many conversions using the two-wheel drive Ford box, which mounted to the inside of the frame. And it's a, it's a good, strong box. We know many people are still running that. I'm still running that on the Nightmare. And what that has to do with is just the length of the drag link. And we want to get you the right length for what you're using. So, for example, if you can see those two, this one is substantially shorter. And uh, so we're going to ask you that question. One other thing to keep in mind, we do have two different center link links, and one is specifically for the 7677, again, because the knuckle goes out and flares towards the wheel. That actually creates the need for a two inch longer center link. And so we have both versions available. Okay, so let's talk center links for a second. We're using inch and 5 eighths DOM 4130 stress relief chromoly. Uh, in a nutshell, we're using the best stuff we can get to put this product together. Uh, all the center links are powder coated black and basically ready to go. Uh, we wrap them up, try to protect the finish on them. Of course, you're going to take them out there and bash them into rocks. So it's more of a protective coating for shipping than anything else. Um, Again, 4130 DOM stress relief chromoly. We think it's the best thing to use for this, and it's tough. Well, that concludes the tour of our Clydesdale 66 to 77 Bronco Extreme Duty Tie Rod and Drag Link System. We appreciate you watching. Check us out and look for additional information www.wildhorses4x4.com. Thanks for watching.